Is this you every single Christmas trying to fit an entire booster box into a stocking to just provide that classic stocking stuffer present but it just doesn't fit? Well little Timmy, I don't want you worrying anymore because over in Europe they've got and released the half box. It's literally an official product made by the Pokemon company but it's half a booster box that easily fits into your Christmas stocking. But no guys, I'm 100% serious. This right here is a real Pokemon product made by the Pokemon company that they just didn't release anywhere else in the world besides Europe. I know, it's weird to think about, but it's basically the exact same height and dimensions as a booster box up the top, but it's just half the width. So it's one column of a box. Now, my question today, right, what are we getting deprived of? Are the pools inside of these half booster boxes actually really really OP or are they absolute trash when compared to a regular box? So today ladies and gentlemen I am putting it to the test. We're gonna open up this half booster box right here sent fresh from London in England and then we're gonna pick out half a booster box out of here and compare the pulls. But without further ado let's open this mini booster box and see what's inside. It feels kind of weird like it almost feels like it's a dollar store pack but it's legit, like actual boosters, no like uh, three or four card packs, and they should have pretty good pull rates. Look at this, it's so cute, and it fits in the stocking as well. Now, it is a pretty good set. I will take a Brilliant Stars actually any day of the week. Now, I'm so curious, what do you guys think the pull rates are going to be? The price, I don't know, that seems normal. You guys in London can actually tell me if that's a regular price, £3.99. What do you call it? Is it cents? Whatever the currency is over there. I'm hoping we get some of that like reindeer Santa Claus luck and I don't know how that correlates to Charizard, but it would be nice getting a rainbow rare. You imagine a V-Star Charizard today out of half a booster box? Even if it's not in there, we're gonna open up half of a regular box. I'll take alternate art Charizard, um, rainbow rare V-Star, even the Arceus, uh, like half, I mean, not the half arts, the alternate arts and the full art cards. Got a heat ran right there. And I don't know how many of you guys remember about Brilliant Stars. Like, it is a really, really OP set because of the amount of cards in here. There's a Pikachu full art. I don't know if you can tell, but Uncle Ando wouldn't mind a Pikachu right now. Um, <laughs> so that would be another one. And to be honest, I think I'd just go for any alternate artwork. But so far, two boosters in. I mean, three boosters in. Not looking too good. I wonder if they will end up like the Dollar Tree style packs because you can buy a Dollar Tree booster box I think but the pulls aren't like too good it's like one full up per box or something so I'm curious if it's going to end up like that have you guys seen these half booster boxes before is this the first time you're seeing it I'm going to be honest when my friend uh, Vivian sent these from London that was the first time I'd ever in my life seen this but I presume it's been like happening for a little bit because they're still making it like I saw a Lost Origin half box recently on eBay so I know they're still making them so they must be pretty popular. Now, I reckon this is going to be something. Heat ran. And the first one we get is a Holo Lucario. Man, I wonder if we're only going to get hollows today out of this thing. Come on, Arceus. Let's go with the goods. I want a real bang. I want to be able to grade something out of this half box. Then I can grade it and be like, ah, oh, there's, the, <laughs> there's that classic pull from half a booster box. If this is a European box, I should go with a European grading service. So I should get my friend Randolph to uh, grade it with Ace Grading. Okay, Turtwig, back to the good stuff. Back to my favorite Arceus set. Boozil, and then... Oh, okay, our first V hit. Everyone keep in mind, we've got a Holo card and a Kingler V right now. We're not even halfway. Getting the Vs, getting the Holos. I don't remember being flooded with Holo cards in throughout when opening this booster box originally. So I don't think we're going to get an influx of Holo cards, but I wonder what else we can try and uh, summon. I'd also be curious, if you guys want, we can open up another half box and we can do it with like a trainer gallery heavy set, like uh, Lost Origin would actually be a really good half box to try and like see what the pulls are like. Magma, Riolu, got the cast form and a Grim Snarl. It's not looking good. Now everyone in the comments as well, I want you to pick your side because this is a booster box battle at the end of the day. We're literally opening these to compare the pair and I want everyone at home to be able to pick Team Europe, or the team rest of the world. Maybe you're gonna be biased, you're like, and do I live in Europe? I gotta pick my home team. Fair enough, I've gotta go with the rest of the world because I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen this product in my life before and this is the first time trying it out. Two star use and <gasps> no, this is gonna be the Pikachu. Oh, I thought it was Pikachu. The art, the background art was so the same. But look at that, a full art grind ball. Pokemon card. This set is so cool. It is stacked. Like, the Pokemon roster is huge. Alright. 
So now we get a full on card, a V card, and a holo card. £3.99. Is that about the same as England? I mean, I mean uh, the Australian prices? I think it is actually. I reckon it does like line up pretty good. Please, Star Marker. Because I was like, maybe we're paying more per booster and that's why the pool's a bit better, but not really. So we got Grotul, Burmy, Staryu, Kerablast, Cheruby, Axu, and a Clefable regular rare. I've actually opened a good amount of um, Brilliant Stars. So low key, we are hunting for a couple of full art cards that I still need for my binder and my set. Which is why I didn't mind doing today's video. When everyone wanted me to open up this half box, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll give it a go. We'll try and complete more of the set. Cheruby, Riolu. Oh, sugar, look at that. Okay, here we go. We got Flareon and a Muck. Is it just going to give us one of each? So then by this ratio, maybe we get like one more alternate artwork and then a V-Star. But surely they're not that calculated where they just give you one of each. Because then that means that Pokemon put these down as a bit of a sample box. They're like, all right, whoever buys these sealed half boxes can have a sample of everything in the set. You get one of each rarity. Clefairy. <gasps> oh, sugar! I, I didn't even think of this, but I guess a full art trainer gallery. Okay. And a Dustnor Hollow. So a bit of a two for one deal right there. The double cheeseburger. Look at this. The artwork's awesome. Okay. Full art at the back and then Dustnor. Let's put you at the back as well. So another hollow card. We've only got about six packs remaining after this one. So we are coming down clutch and then we can pick out the 18 boosters out of the uh, actual booster box. Magma Basin, Crawdont, Collapse Stadium, got the Burmy, Staryu, Kerablast. Maybe if this box actually does turn out to have... I love that card. Justice for Flygon. He needs way more love in the... I uh, Just everything. More love in the video games, more love in the TCG. He's a gorgeous Pokemon and Emerald, I loved having him. But if this is good enough, I would almost say this is worth putting on the Christmas wish list. Is it too late to update the Christmas list? What's your deadline to submit the uh, Christmas list this year? If it's not, half a booster box is kind of fun because technically it should be about half the money. And you know what? The pulls don't seem too bad. We'll see what we get. It's, oh no. It's five boosters after this, so if we can get one more full art, I'm going to put it down as a, I would put it on the Christmas list. If not, ooh, oh, this, I don't know. This could have been something. Could it be a trainer gallery maybe? Pot helmet? Uh, I think the pot is pot helmet a gold card. Corfish, Golet, Spirit Tomb. Oh no, it's a regular rare. Come on, Whimsicott. You're gonna save the day. Team Europe's depending on you. It's like the World Cup for Pokemon cards right now. Swing it around. There's the gold card. Let's go. Four from the back. Got a darkness type. Okay, here we go. Luxio. Hit him on top. Yo, imagine a hit him on top full art card. That would go off. That would be sick. Snow Run, Ultra Ball Reverse, and what can we get behind that? The Electrive and Magmortor Tag Team Combo Card. Final four right now. Gosh, it's not looking good. So, <laughs> I'm not going to do the meme anymore. Executor, Friends in Gala, gorgeous card. Weavile, got the Chimchar, Baltzoi, Snow Run, Nose Pass. Oh, final three. I'm looking for one more hit. I reckon a V-Star would just make my year. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, here we go. This is going to be something. Maybe it's another holo card, but we'll see what the universe thinks. Swing it around. Please enjoy all those codes as well. Merry Christmas. The codes are on Uncle Land. Oh my gosh, I kicked the camera. I'm getting a bit too excited. He saw the dark border. He's like, there's something behind it. Love that far-fetched artwork. Oh, okay, here we go. Trade a gallery, but keep in mind there's something behind here. There is something behind here. Octillery, TG, and then, oh, it's another holo, this time in Polion. so about three, three or four holo cards this time around, gosh, the artwork's so good in this set, no wonder the booster box price is pretty much doubled, it's like, just unreal, trainer galleries in general just always hit, like, way different, second to last one, and it's a Charizard art, imagine you get Charizard, it's still possible, like, we could pull Zard today, there's the code card. Let's go forth from the back. Swing it around. Ole, 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 ole. Europe, come on. Can you give... Oh, jeez. Took a chunk out there. Farfetch got the Grimer. Dust goal. Here we go. Okay. It is the final booster. And then that's it. So this is what a sealed half a box be looking like. So we're going to get the wrapping off. Try not to look at... Oh, I'm going to show you the code because you know what? It's a black border. I saw that one. I was like... We're going to see. So let's win. Oh my gosh. Okay, there is something in the final slot. And it's better than a holo. It's like a V card at minimum. 
Could be a full lot. As I mentioned, if we do get another full lot, I am putting this down as a, you gotta ask Santa Claus for it. Bidoof, Electabuzz, Haluncha. Come on, come on, come on. Alternate art, alternate art, alternate art. Oh, it's Raichu V, which I also wouldn't mind pulling as well, the full art. But that's not too bad. Okay, so let's tally up what we got and then pick our 18 boosters out of a normal box. Alrighty, so before we rummage through the uh, box back here, let me show you what we got in half a box. So this is a European exclusive. Lucario, Dusnor, and Empoleon. So three holo cards. Then we got two trainer galleries. Flareon's just so good. That artwork is unparalleled. Then we got two V cards as well. And two full art cards. So two of each. Two full arts, two Vs, two trainer galleries. I guess we'll go a chunk here. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's get a chunk out here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And a chunk here. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling immense pressure representing the rest of the world. We've got the European pools, and now we've got the uh, the rest of the world here. It's the regular booster box that gets shipped to most other countries. Already off the bat? Come on. <sighs> okay, it's Ando shot. Let's do it. We got water type. Imagine we get the literal most expensive card, the Charizard vs. Venusaur. The one that everyone absolutely loves. I have pulled it before, got the mark, and that- <gasps> Are you joking? What is it? Oh my goodness, off the rip! Off the rip, ladies and gentlemen! Look at this! I've actually got and pulled Golden Galarian Articuno V card on the first booster. Holy smokes, that's unbelievable! I haven't even got that one. I just traded for my Zapdos. Let me show you my Zapdos in a second. I've got him right there. I just got him on a trade day. Um, I think two trade day videos ago, we traded for Golden Zapdos and it looks so sick. Bidoof, Electabuzz, Chimeco. Okay, let me show you my Zapdos. Galarian Articuno V, and now I got my Galarian Zapdos. So now we need my Moltres, and that's it. I love that card, though. Galarian Zapdos is my favorite. Sometimes my mum says I've got ADHD, but let's keep going. Okay, so we got Charizard right now. Let's get back to the uh, proper hunting. To be honest, oh, 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 there's no way. There is no way we get another ridiculous hit. I can't see. Maybe it's a holo card. We did get a fair amount of hollows in the uh, European one. Gibble, Turtwig, got the Trap Inch. Not a TG. There we are. Oh, wow, we doubled up on the same Pokemon. Empoleon as well. So we'll put that one right there, but we can't be mad at all. Gold card and a holo. What else can we get? Fourth booster in. Okay, white border. Hopefully get a nice TG. Let's uh, get the Psychic to the side. Then we got Float Cell, Hunting Gloves. Don't know how uh, effective those would be. Chimcha, got the Baltzoi, Axu, Nosepass, Starly, and an S Cavalier. All right, making some good ground right now. I reckon we need. What do you think? A full art would probably secure the win. A V Star would also like. If we got two V Stars, I would be pretty confident in getting that W as well. Seeing as we didn't get anything inside of the half box, V Star, V Max, or anything like that. Nosepass, Infernape, and a Haxorus. Okay, got the Shaman artwork now. Sometimes I feel like my luck's just been exhausted and things like that happen. I think I did see some shine. There's the code card. Let me know if you're getting the gold birds in the uh, codes. Hitmonsop, got the Magma Basin. Crawdunt, Farfetch'd, got the Duskull, Grimer. Now, nah, got the Bidoof, Kling Clang, and Ice Coo. Ice Coo's gone to town right there. Okay. Oh no! We might have picked the absolute dud section in the middle part of the box. I've definitely done this before in big openings. We've already pulled that as a full art card. Executor. Shinx. Farfetch'd. It was going so good. We scored the goal early on. And I feel like it might actually go to extra time. Can you imagine if it is a tie break? No, I think I'd leave it to you guys in the comments to pick which one you think would be better. Um, if it is a bit of a close one. But at the moment... I still haven't taken the W, even though I got the gold card. Purloin, Duskull, got the Sneasel, Corefish, Magma. <gasps> You're joking! The same... This, like, this set's huge, isn't it? Like, minus the 30 cards in TG, it's in a 200 card set. What are the chances? 
I mean, it's a gorgeous one. So there we go. Flareon Trainer Gallery, which is probably my favorite, as I did mention. Put you to the side. There we go. Black Border as well. What can we do? Got a Water Type Energy. <sighs> alternate Art. Alternate Art. Bow Toy. Alternate Art's going to take us home. Snow Run. Got the Clink. Flygon. <gasps> there we go. This is what I'm talking about. Get the V-Stars. If we get one more, please be Charizard. It would just seal the deal. Okay. So Whimsicott V-Star. Fluff Ball Star and Trick Wind. But Whimsicott, I guess, is on the lower end of the V-Stars. Oh, I've offended all Whimsicott fans by saying that, but... I put Charizard a little bit higher on the rarity scale. So let's go four. We are, like, more than halfway through this box, by the way. It may come down to a couple of fights in the comment section to determine the winner right here. I mean, so far I'm recommending that half box just because it fits in the Christmas... Oh, no way. Okay. Here we go! There we go! Can't get any Lipards everywhere today. D Denny, jeez. The more I open the set and the more I see Brilliant Stars, the more I realize why it's gone up in price. Because, like, it's unparalleled. The colors, the artwork, the choice of Pokemon is so diverse. Very, very awesome. But now, guys, we have got two. So that's our two uh, trainer galleries. We have got the V Star. Man, they actually might come across pretty even. It would be pretty fair, though. That does make a lot of sense. Cafe Master, Monferno, Gloria, Snow Run. I'm happy I got to open up the European box, though. Because I feel like in my life, if I never got... <laughs> I mean, in my head, I've just won because Tornadus is so sick. But yeah, I wouldn't have ever known about that product if it didn't get sent to me in a mystery box. So I'm very happy I got to open one, try one out. And the pulls weren't even half bad, were they? They were pretty good. Oh, it's another white. Dude, this might actually be so much closer than I originally thought. It's just because we started off way too strong. Got the unlisted leaf energy. Boozil, Gibble, Trap Hinge, Cast Form. Whoa, where'd I pull that from? Throw. Got a surprise throw. And a Flygon again. Such a big set. Ando's seeing about 50,000 doubles a minute. Yes, this is gonna this is gonna be it. It's a black border and there's a bit of shine. It's a V card at minimum. What is it gonna be? Darkness, Gabite, Gloria, Star Ravia, Bit of Electabuzz. Come on, Boozil. Got the gibble. What can we get off the cub shoe? <gasps> no way! Oh my gosh, you're choking me! I'm done. Chair to the side. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is officially the international booster box. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We've pulled Arceus V-Star full up gold card. Have you ever heard of getting two gold cards in one booster box? Maybe because that's like classified as a V-Star? I don't know. I'm shook. I'm literally I'm looking at it like it's so shiny. One of the attacks is called Trinity Nova. No, I'm not going to sit back down in my seat. I don't care. There's four boosters remaining. Let's take it home, guys. Monferno, Beartick, Fracture... The, the weird part is, right, in my gut, it's probably me being really, really greedy. I think we can do it. I think we can get another hit. And it's going to be better than a V card. Let's have a look. Jeez, that Arceus is awesome. There's the code card. Let's go four. Swing it around. There is something here. I don't know if it's got texture. I didn't believe it. When this was coming up and I saw the gold, I was like, there's no way. And then imagine it was the same card. That would have been even more funny. D Denny, far fetched. Here we go. What do you reckon? Got the rare reverse Lipard. And a Zamazenta V. Such an odd Pokemon for them to put as a V here, don't you think? Randomly just chucking in Zamazenta V in the set. Third to last one, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Treasure of the moment in time, guys. This video probably goes into a museum of just crazy pulls that should never have happened. There's the white border. Let's go four. I can't wait to do a comparison recap right now. Okay. Grutal. Got the Primplop. Got the Titani. Duskull. Nah. Turtwig reverse. And a Muck. Second to last. Whoa. Two Whimsicots to finish it off. We grabbed the exact right section to that booster box. Oh, I reckon there's a trainer gallery. I saw a bit of shine. It was weird that that had a white border. Okay. Got a Pot Helmet, Executor, Star U. Got the Riolu, Star Lee. <gasps> I knew it! I saw that! Look at that! Eridos Trainer Gallery! It's the DLC! 
We've passed the uh, finish line, so let's chop. Train the gallery, gallery there. And the home stretch, what are we gonna get? On our final Christmas style pack. So, I think the official conclusion, instead of going to the shop, I mean, uh, instead of like flying to Europe buying half a box, go to the shop and buy half a box. Just get 18 individual boosters, and I'm sure you can fit that inside of your stocking, so uh, that's probably my recommendation. Because you've got a more wider variety of luck just picking out random packs out of a loose booster box or blisters than you do buying half a box. But let's do an official comparison. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is the final result if we're directly comparing a random half of a normal booster box to one of those sealed halves. What do you guys think? What's your conclusion? Obviously, the normal one did a lot better, but again, I feel like it's kind of up to chance as well. There is probably a world in which the sealed one would perform better, and for being a sealed product, it did pretty solid. Two full arts, two V cards, tr two trainer galleries, and then a bunch of hollow cards. I just gotta say, our luck with the normal one, Absolutely unreal. I can't believe we've got two gold cards. Let me know which booster box you guys picked in the comment section and which one you like more. Would you actually give the European one a go? I'd be so curious to know. But most of all, have a fantastic day and keep on gaming. I'll see you in the next video, guys.